Hi, I'm Joshua Schnitzer, a pre-sales engineer at sys Technologies. In this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy sys agents. Before deploying the sys agents, there's some requirements. The following ports must be open between the deploying computer and the target computers. TCP-139, TCP-445, UDP-137, UDP-138, and UDP-8193. After the agent is deployed, only port 8193 needs to be kept open. You also must ensure that the following three services are running on each computer you are deploying to. Server, Remote Procedure Call, RPC, Remote Registry. Please note that the Remote Registry starts by default in Windows XP and Windows Server 2003, but not in Windows Vista, Windows 7, and Windows Server 2008. Now we're going to log into SysAid. Before deploying the sys agent, you must think about the configuration of your network. If you're trying to deploy the agent to computers that are outside your LAN, or you're using our sys cloud solution, you must install a, th a small program on a Windows-based machine inside your network. Simply go to Preferences, then Downloads, and you want to download the, rem the remote discovery service. When you install the remote discovery service on one of your Windows based machines inside your LAN or, or remote LANs, you'll need some information. It's here. What the remote discovery service does is it relays the information that it finds back to the sys server. Once that's set up, we're going to go and deploy the agents. Go to Asset Management, Network Discovery. In the Network Discovery page, you'll see a couple tabs. The first tab is Network Discovery. The second tab is WMI Scan. The third tab is Deploy Agents. You have the SM, SNMP Scan. You have the Update Asset Data, Update Agents Version, and Log. In Network Discovery tab, you have WMI Scan on the Domain. This allows you to do scan on your domain for all the workstations and servers on the domain, and it will just list them in the asset list. It will not deploy the agent. If you deploy agents on a domain, it will actually do a WMI scan and then it will push the agents onto all the, all the assets it finds. If you do a SNMP scan, network scan, it will find the access points, routers, switches, and printers on your network. When you go to the WMI scan tab, you have more, option than, m more options than just the domain. Right here, you can do a domain you can schedule it. You can schedule to re repeat automatically. You schedule WMI scan, so if your network's changing, sys is up to date. In addition to that, you can do WMI scan on an IP range. If you don't have a domain, this works well here. Or if you just want to scan a particular part of your network. To do this, you simply choose the IP range. You can put in a username and password. You can schedule it. On here, you see the network discovery service name. If you have the remote discovery service running on one of the w running on one of your LANs you'll you'll see it here if not it's just going to be the sys8 server which is this local machine once you set everything you press add at this point you have an option to run or delete this particular scan in deploy agents it's the same exact thing at the top you have the options for deploying over the domain or via an IP address range under the SNMP scan, you can, you can give it an IP range, you can tell it the SNMP version you have, and you can put in your username and password. This can be scheduled as well. Update Asset Data is, tells SysA to automatically ask the assets for the updated data. The data that, the as that SysA pulls down from the assets is things such as processor and hard drive, RAM, and software. If you, if you schedule this update, you'll always have an update inventory of all your assets. The upgrade agents version is, is useful when you, up, when you get the new version of SysAid. We come out with a new version every six months, so sometimes with the new version you'll have to have a new agent. This will allow you to keep all your agents on your system up to date. Finding the logs will tell you all of the history that was done within the network discovery.
if you want to use an external tool to deploy agents, you can download it at the download section. You simply go to the top left button here, go to preferences, and then go to downloads. Here you'll download the SysA administrator tools. When you install it, again, you will need the information at the bottom of this page. I've already installed it on this computer. When I click on this, the start menu, go to programs, go to SysAid. Here I have the deploy SysAid tool. At this point you can simply expand your network out and it will give you a list of all your computers. It will also tell you if the computer is active or not, if it's alive, if it's turned on, and it will tell you if there's an agent on it and the agent version. Once you get the list of your computers, you can highlight the computers that you want to deploy the agent to by using the shift or the control and then you can press deploy agent up here or you can press this button to on deploy. If you want to do custom agent settings, you simply go to edit and you go to settings. Here you can define all the settings in your agent. You can define the server URL, which I wouldn't change. You can change your hotkey. You can change the time, the refresh time of 30 seconds. I do not recommend doing that. Once you press OK, the, set, the settings are saved. In addition to that, you can change your login settings for deploying the agent. That's it about deploying the sys agent. If you have any questions or concerns, please email us at sales at Thank you.